Okay, we're going to look at that last scenario, the K-control triangle setup with the knee pinch. I'm going to show a different option if you start to have some uh, problems with your opponent struggling. And uh, we're going to still have the same triangle finish. We're starting off the same. Head, leg, shift, lift, create that angle, and now I trap his arm. Now from here, maybe he's getting a little smart. And he whips that arm out right away to bring his arm off on top. Okay, now we got a couple options, but we're gonna stick to what we're doing. So my knee's gonna now come out and back over and trap it. All right, and we can kind of play this game a little bit. Okay, I can push, pull, make that swirl, and keep on trying to trap it. Now, if I know he's just on to me and he keeps on playing, the first thing I'm gonna do is start to attack his base. So as soon as this comes over, I make my circle and trap it. I'm now gonna pull myself in and I'm gonna pop my hips under him. So I'm gonna pull myself in, lift his leg, and I'm gonna pop him off balance. Now when he posts, he clears the arm for me, okay? So now, once I'm here, I right away I wanna cross my feet and get control. Cross my right over left and pinch and stay tight. Now, I go to the arm, okay? Now from here, same thing, I clear the arm, protect myself, stay tight, lock, and finish. Shift offline, I'm trying to work, you give me some static, I'm trying to work again, as soon as I clear, I pop them off, boom, plus, Pretty much can't go wrong knocking your opponent off balance. It, it just sets things off. And if you can't control a guy's arm or you need to get back in the fight because he is just playing too conservative, as soon as you off balance him, now you're in the game a little bit. Now you have a chance because that arm is preoccupied with his balance.